Hey, what is up guys? Today I want to share a small project that I've been working on, which I'm going to be using to light some of my videos, and it's going to look something like this. Now this project stemmed out of me requiring a better light solution for some of my videos, because prior to this I was using the IKEA Tertial Desk Lamp, and I was just trying to use a photography umbrella to diffuse it. I was also using this small LED little light, but I found that this didn't have enough surface area to spread it out and it looked a bit harsh on my face. And setting up these lights became kind of finicky so I wanted a simpler solution that I can just pop open and it's good to go. Starting with this project I measured the dimensions of the umbrella and made a template on AutoCAD for where I wanted to line the LEDs. So I chose to line LEDs along the stretchers that support the ribs in the umbrella and this makes it so it follows the runner, so when you close the umbrella, the screen will fold with it. So to attach the LEDs, I made a fabric screen, and this is my first project, sewing. Being the first project I made using a sewing machine, I learned a lot from the process. And I also learned that using the sewing machine is actually pretty easy, but it does require a little bit of time and practice to get it right. Some of the things that I found tricky was to get the material to feed into the machine straight, as well as getting the stitch spacing correct. Another thing I made a mistake with is not leaving enough fabric at the end where I wanted to sew two pieces of fabric together. And this made it kind of tricky because uh, me not leaving enough fabric, I would often puncture either the LED strip or I would go too far in making it impossible to fit the LED strip and that was a little troublesome. And in working with this project, I also use this as a chance to practice my soldering skills just because I want to get better at that. So every edge following the screen, I actually had to make soldering connection points. And with this, I actually encountered a lot of issues with contacts not touching correctly or the solder falling off, as well as just not soldering it properly with the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. Now the LED strips that I was using for this project are actually scrap LEDs that I had lying around from an old project. So I actually had to cut some of these strips out so I would take out the broken pieces and then solder the good pieces together. And that took an extra amount of time to put together, especially because I'm not the best at soldering. Ultimately, this is why it was so time consuming and my how to sew video came out a few weeks earlier and this one just lagging behind. But in hindsight, I don't really like this warm light tone for video making. So I think for the future, I might just use this light uh, when I'm shooting at night, like now. So I just wanted to share this little project with you guys. If you guys have any thoughts or comments about this, I would love to hear that in the comments section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. And if you guys don't know already, on this channel, I make design, fabrication, as well as process videos on different aspects of my life. So if that's something you might be interested in, feel free to hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next week. Bye.